So, what do you suppose this stupid thing is doing today? If we look at the display, it claims that it's unevenly loaded, that its balance sensor has tripped out. And yet, for some reason, I kid you not, it's filling itself with water. And the drum is almost completely full. Which, for a high-efficiency machine like this, that senses how heavily it's loaded, and adjusts its fill level accordingly, it's very unusual to see that. I've seen it legitimately do that a couple of times, mainly on the bulky items cycle. As I've said previously, this is not the machine that I would have purchased. I would have gotten myself something nice and conventional like a Speed Queen, or even one of those inexpensive Crosley branded machines with real mechanical controls. I do have to say, in the interest of fairness though, that this thing does actually seem to get clothing clean. My two primary objections to it are that it feels like it's cheaply made, and it also farts around for longer than time itself in the name of figuring out how heavily loaded it is and all that sort of thing. Yeah, I really have no idea what this crazy thing thinks it's up to. Just turned off its water filling. It turned it off moments ago, stopped spinning, and then turned it right back on again. The drum is very full. Now this thing's carrying a big load of towels, so it certainly seems reasonable that it could have decided to fill itself up all the way. Now it's just sitting there. This is not the first time something like this has happened either. When I came home after a very long and tiring road trip, I threw the entirety of my bedding in here, put it on the bulky cycle. It managed to get unbalanced to the point where it couldn't correct itself, which it will try to do if it has a balance-related problem. And maybe that's why it's filling itself up with water in hopes that the uh, towels within it will redistribute themselves. I really don't know. But I managed to crash this thing. I tried to rebalance the comforter inside it several times, and eventually it came to the point where the control panel simply would not respond any longer. And I've got to wonder if maybe the same thing has happened here. Because it just doesn't make any sense what it's doing. Okay, it sat around and slept for probably five minutes. And now it's decided to drain itself. Maybe that is what it's doing. Maybe it is trying to rebalance the clothing by soaking it in water again. Seems kind of counterintuitive for a machine that's supposed to be doing its level best to save energy and water, and yet still provide the same level of cleaning. I'd say the jury's out on whether or not it actually manages to do anything like that. Yeah, the reflections make looking in there a real problem. Well, I've got to go take care of some other stuff, so I guess we'll see if this thing happens to recover. Alright, so this thing finally did decide to give up and seek human intervention while I was outside shooting the other video that I just uploaded. So we'll see if we can actually get it straightened out here. I'll bet you never thought you'd see UXW Bill doing his laundry on camera. Of course, once again, I try to be a cut above other YouTube channels. Everybody else shows their dirty laundry. <laughs> I'm showing you clean laundry. <laughs> see if I can better balance this out so that this machine might have a prayer of actually getting its job done. It's one job, I might add. Okay, this does just keep getting weirder and weirder. I rebalanced the clothes myself after the machine gave up on trying to do it itself. Now it's filling with water again. <laughs> I don't know that it's ever going to get through this. This is just ridiculous. Okay, so long story short, I finally decided to go ahead and intervene. 
was I don't know how long this thing would have spent trying to fill and drain itself in the vain attempt to try and rebalance the clothing. But that's certainly not Energy Star compliant behavior. Which is whole Energy Star business, if you'll forgive my brief excursion into a very politically charged matter, is a crock of hooey. But I think maybe I've got it on the right path now. I also don't understand why it feels the need to cycle its drain pump on and off so many times when it's doing the same thing. It just does not make any sense to me. I must say, I find it very interesting that for as many times as this machine filled and drained itself in the name of rebalancing itself, how many suds there still are in the water. And I did not use very much detergent. I only use a tiny amount. I don't know why these machines all feel that they need to have a lid lock. What was wrong with the safety switch of years past? Which this machine certainly does have. It most definitely knows when you've opened the lid and could just immediately electrically break the motor, which it does so very effectively. But in an interesting story related to that particular feature, this thing's lid lock broke a couple of months ago resulted in the machine refusing to operate at all with various error codes pertaining to the lid lock. This machine is now out of its Whirlpool limited warranty, which offered full coverage on everything. The only warranty it has left now is the 10-year warranty on the motor itself. Though in an interesting twist, when we called Whirlpool to complain about it, they sent out a repairman and the part. They performed the entire repair on the machine free of charge. So even though Whirlpool may not be making the world's best washing machines anymore, I do have to say that I was pretty impressed by their willingness to stand behind the products that they've sold. They certainly didn't have to repair this machine on their own dime. We did not pay anything to have it fixed. Another interesting aspect of this whole saga, the original part when it was removed from the machine was an ITW, Illinois Tool Works, Arc Less branded part made in China. The replacement part that they brought with them is made in the United States. I'll leave any conclusions up to the viewer. In the meantime, thank you for watching, and by all means, certainly do feel free to leave a comment if you have one.